We thought we'd uh, give you another instalment of our blog, or my video, and we thought we'd show you our system where we've got a, a setup in our garden for filming birds. Uh, these are feeding off a log, and as you can see, we've uh, managed to find a tree that's uh, come down in the winter from our uh, woodland and we've cut it up uh, to a reasonably short size and we've put it into a would you believe Christmas tree holder we wanted to try and find a way of holding logs on our garden without having to dig them in so what we've done is we've bought ourselves a Christmas tree holder um, they're available all year round from uh, popular uh, websites such as Amazon or eBay and things. Uh, the one we've got here that you can see uh, holds a five inch Christmas tree and what we do is, is just put in a log and the log has got a perch on the top and that holds it quite steady um, in there. If we've got a issues with the wind that we get up here in the highlands and what we do is, is we just put some sandbags around the bottom uh, and that steadies the whole thing up. Because there's a gap between the trunk and the actual holder we put a, a skirt round um, made of uh, old sandbags and what we do is, is just pull the skirt round the actual top and that stops any uh, food or uh, peanuts or if we're feeding fat going down in round there. Um, it really is to stop the birds uh, getting into this crevice between the, the trunk and the, the feeder. We found that birds can get stuck down there so what we've done is, is we put this skirt all the way around to stop them getting in there. next thing we do is after we've got it all secured onto its base and it's ready to go out is to drill some big holes in it. Um, this is a fairly um, big drill, it's an inch sized drill and we drill these sort of holes in it in a couple of places and we can get fat logs uh, that you can buy for birds for feeding on special um, feeders. What we do is, is just push them into these holes and then cut them off and that provides the birds with uh, a good f feed of fat. On this log we're going to try something a bit different. We've already drilled the holes for the fat logs to go in um, but what I've done now is to drill a series of three holes um, using the same tool um, to make a slot in the uh, trunk and what we're going to do then is to cover the slot with a very fine mesh, steel mesh and then put peanuts underneath it. With a bit of luck that means there should be like a little peanut feeder sitting just on the side of the trunk. We've got our three holes all interlocking so it makes a slot in the trunk and we've got this little tiny piece of steel mesh. This is a hexagon pattern. What we're going to do is to try and cover over that hole like that and then what we're going to do is to feed peanuts down behind it. Now to hold this in place um, I've got a screw that I've just dropped. Let me just put that one in to start it up. We're going to put a screw in just to hold it in place at the bottom and then we're going to put another one at the top, right in the middle, to hold that in place. And with a bit of luck, we can now get peanuts down behind this. Now comes the trickiest part of the whole operation, and that's trying to get the peanuts to feed down behind the back of this mesh. As soon as we've filled it up, then we can put it out in the garden and it should feed the birds and they should come and perch on our log. We can then take pictures of them. So, so this is always the trickiest piece of the whole process, is trying to get the peanuts down. 
Uh, I've loosened the top screw off just a little bit to allow me to drop them right down into the bottom. Um, but this will provide quite a good cache of peanuts. Um, they shouldn't be able to empty it relatively quickly. And all we've got to do is every so every uh, couple of hours or something is just to fill it back up. The mesh that we're using is a similar size mesh to the peanut feeders that you would buy um, from a garden centre or from the RSPB to feed your birds. Um, so they should be able to get through and peck out there. That's a particularly big peanut, we don't want one of those. And we just tap it back in and that fills up the whole of that cavity with knowing our birds a few minutes supply of peanuts. We're hoping this might also attract woodpeckers onto there. And if we're incredibly lucky it might also in we might also get some tree creepers coming up. Uh, that's fairly full. Let's just give it a bit more of a tap. No, that is full now. So what we're going to do is we're just going to tighten the top screw and there you have it, a small pack of peanuts sitting in a log. Now, as I say, hopefully we should be able to photograph that and that will give them something to pack at and that will encourage them to come and to hang on to the log and feed on it and while they're manoeuvring around not necessarily while they're feeding but uh, while they're trying to get to these nuts uh, we'll be able to take pictures of them. Here you can see we've got the post set up. You'd even see a few birds if you look closely jumping up and down on it. Um, it's got the sandbags around the bottom and that just keeps it stable if it uh, gets high winds overnight. Um, and you can see that we've put the hide up. The hide's at the uh, about 15 feet away from it, which is the minimum focus distance for the 500mm lens we're using. As you can see, it's very close to where we put our feeders. So there is only a short hop between our feeders and the post itself. So here we are in the hide, sitting, waiting for a woodpecker to come onto the log. Move the log onto the somewhere where the nice background, and we've set it up, and it's been set up now for 24 hours or so. Um, that gives the birds enough time to get used to it and to come and feed on it. We've had a sighting of the woodpecker using the post so we set the hide up and put the camera in. Unfortunately so far we've only managed to get great tits and blue tits using the post while we've got the camera in place. It's nothing unusual, it's wildlife photography for you. Hopefully we'll get some bits of video showing you the post in use. Now it's just a question of waiting and seeing if we can capture the pictures that we want of the woodpecker. One thing you should say is if you are going to entice birds to come to a particular spot and you're doing that by offering them food, then don't just put the food out and then take it away again very quickly. Um, what you need to do is to do it over the period of a week or two um, make sure they get used to the food being there and then feed them a bit afterwards. We offer birds food in our garden 365 days a year. There's always hanging feeders and ground feeders. Just by putting in this post we're not actually feeding them for just a short while while they're on the post. In fact the, the feeders are still up so they have a choice as to whether they go onto our post or onto <sighs> Stop short because the woodpecker has come down onto the nut feeder. Not onto the post, mind you, but onto the nut feeder. Well, it's gone off again. Oh well, maybe it's only a very short hop from the nut feeders that we've got hanging up onto the post, so maybe next time he comes in 
be able to do it. As with most things, it did take a little while for us to get what we were after. In the meantime, we took some pictures of other birds feeding on the log. We managed to get the pictures we've been looking for. A woodpecker perched on a log. If you'd like to see more of what we do, don't forget you can subscribe to our YouTube channel.